Hello everyone and welcome back to the 46th part tutorial of how to model basketball court arena where we will continue with our basketball hoop. Uh, we have a little bit more things to do so I uh, really hope that I will be able to finish this uh, at this part. Okay so I'm gonna open the PDF file and because this is really close-up picture and we can really understand what's going on here. Uh, we need to create those pads here right and following the shapes here it's pretty much uh, telling us that it just using the curve here of the front you see how it build it up so this is what we're going to do now you want to make sure that you uh, well at least me I, I'm going to do it like uh, from I will try to do this as like one solid uh, you know part and add the curves there where they supposed to be Anyway, um, let's start with this, and later on I will say a few things that I think that are n they are necessary to be said. Um, I'm gonna delete uh, this instrument. Well, well, let's leave it there. It doesn't bother me right now. Let's create a cube, and I'm gonna scale this up. This cube, and I'm gonna bring this in front of our hoop here. I'm going to use the side view in order to see this better. For some reason the side view doesn't want to open. It's also taking time to the side view to be opened. In my case I'm not sure why. It's never reacted that uh, that way but anyway. I'm going to bring this here and what I want to do is I want to scale this downwards to about something like so okay it doesn't have to be that thick or thin or whatever now I'm gonna put this almost just a little bit above the ground okay just a little bit floating there right click on the background choose vertices and I'm gonna grab now sometimes when I'm uh, switching here you will see black uh, screens I don't know why it's something that related to the, um, my graphic card and as well as my uh, well uh, I think it's something that uh, they probably thought in Autodesk that this car this version of Maya probably if someone will use it it will be on a uh, some kind of a decent card but it's not like that so <laughs> it reacts different and a little bit weird anyway I stretched it all the way there like so and what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna add a few edge loops so shift right click insert edge loop we're gonna insert one edge loop right at this area so I'm gonna switch back to side view just to see this better so we have this area that we need one edge loop here I'm gonna put it there okay there is this area where we need to put this here okay so this is the height of the main body here this is the different curve that we have here and we will probably add one more here uh, but later on switch back to front view I want to set this up I'm gonna grab those vertices and switch to scale tool. Now the scale tool is reacting very weird. We need to double click on the double click on the scale tool and change it to world or object and stretch this just like so. Okay. And we wanna stretch those here to about the same like so, okay? I want to see why this is a little bit something is weird there I mean oh it's really close to this but yeah we we will right click choose well F8 right click choose vertices and we're gonna align this to about so okay now this is really a hard maneuver I mean if you will do something such as this you need to take in mind that it could be a little bit problematic uh, but well, that's that's not bad. That's good. That's okay. 
I'm gonna right click choose face, I'm gonna grab those faces only the front I wanna add just a little bit more thickness to this after all, uh, it should be a pad that it's like a safety a little bit more cushioned than it is right now and here I'm gonna add middle edge loop on the middle so grab this edge control right click edge ring into this to edge ring and split and I'm gonna add offset edge loops uh, edge tools offset edge okay I'm gonna add one offset edge loop like so well maybe like so now I don't really care about the front I care about the sides the, about the back now the reason I'm saying this is because I wanna be able to do something such as this I will show you I'll grab those vertices and scale them just a little bit more of like that okay should be something like so so that way you can grab those okay and extrude them according to this all right so I'm gonna extrude this simple as that over here I'm gonna bring back my well not this one this is another reference picture I thought to use so it should be like well doesn't have to go all that way but let's take a look again it should be this line there though in it has a little bit more character to it I'm gonna continue and lift it over here to the back and right click on the right F8 to bring it back to object mode right click vertices and I'm gonna pull those just like so it looks like those areas are covered so I can't really leave them open I mean the pivot shouldn't be seen so I'm gonna bring them to this height and that will be it even though the angle here is much sharper or maybe I just can't see the pivot but it looks like it should be covered um, I'm gonna add two edge loops here and shift right click insert edge loop I'm gonna do this from the side view it will be easier for me I'm gonna add it about here okay where this is now you can like if you can see this from this side view so you can go over the prefine bookmarks and choose the right side okay right now if I will look at this here we are at side so prefine cover bookmarks and left side see sorry so I can add the next edge loop exactly here press F8 to bring it back to object mode shift right click insert the edge loop and I'm gonna add this edge exactly where the other one is okay press F8 and I will bring this <coughs> camera back to where it was the uh, left side no the right side sorry never mind let's switch back to this view alright so I'm gonna grab those vertices and pull them just a little bit more up and maybe those a little bit down and I'm gonna open this once again I really need to study this shape so sorry about this um, it looks like those are should be a little bit well I'm gonna bring them up I actually gonna bring them downwards and bring those up the other two here to align them and then I will create this angle here with basically extruding those let's see 
picture, please. Okay, it's all should be like one unit, so I'll try and do this. Let's do this once more. Well, I will do it just a little bit here. And what I will do here first is I'm going to add offset edge loops on one here to maintain those. Well, I don't need to maintain those right now, so I am, I'm going to remove them. Sorry about that. But I do want to make sure that here, I think I need to zoom out. Well, never mind. Let's leave it that way. Well, I added those two, and I will add one more just near to them. And then I will grab those. And you need to pick this one as well. Don't forget, don't forget about this little one. And I'm gonna extrude this. Oops. Extrude. And lift. Oh my god. I am sleepy. Let's bring those and then extrude those. I don't need those. Only those. Switch to move tool so it won't make this weird looking thing here. Now, I think that this is okay. I'm okay with that. Though I want to grab those vertices here and lower them down just like that. Now, I'm going to bring, I'm going to make this a little bit more thick here. I just think that. I need this a little bit, so I need something to extrude from here. And it just looks like I will have to do something really as it is. Well, you know what? I'm going to bring those two just a little bit picking outside. And then I will grab those here, which I think that they are not like... It's th this frame is like not the same, so I will simply bring those and... Well, I will stretch them just to the sides that way until they will pick from here and I will be able to extrude this. Yeah, like so. So I'm going to grab this face, this face. I could have done them all in the same time, but I don't know. For some reason, uh, I chose not to. I'm going to fix those as well. This one, shift this one, but you want to make sure that you cut well all those at the sides here you see those and this one and this one and there there is another one okay just like so and i'm gonna scale this that way a little bit so now that's good I'm gonna delete those faces and I will make it one solid object. Let's delete those. Let's grab this. And let's grab this. And that and that. Okay. I'm gonna extrude them. Switch to move tool. Hold down the V key. Snap it to this edge here. Well, it's not snapping, so I will just move it over there and extrude it once more switch to this bring those here now that I extrude them uh, there are probably hidden uh, faces there and I will have to deal with them but right now before that I'm gonna right click choose vertices and I'm gonna grab sorry those vertices and pull them to do the, to this place where those can't be seen though this thing here I'm gonna apply the x-ray and we'll need to patch this I should have done this all together but I thought that I don't want to get uh, I don't know something just told me not to do this anyway 
Uh, well, let's delete this interface there. Here it is, delete. And I will patch this now, so I will save myself problems later on. So let's decide that we are merging these. I mean, this one to this one, okay? And I'm gonna apply the x-ray again so I can see this and then I will be able to grab them and patch those. I'm gonna do the same over here. This one to that one. And there is another one there. This one to this one. Here, they should have been patched, but... Well, they should need to be patched, but they haven't. haven't. And there are another face there, I think. I'm going to do this that way. Well, let's turn off the x-ray. So, like that. And I'm sure there is another face there. So I'm going to switch to selection tool. There should be face right here in this area. So, let's see, maybe this is the one. This, this, see it? Delete. You must delete those, otherwise when you will press 3 later on to smooth preview it, it just look bad. Okay, shading, x-ray, turn off. And we're gonna extrude those two faces here. So, extrude, switch to move tool and extrude it that way here there is this dragging thing okay I'm gonna right click well press F8 bring it back to object mode right click choose vertices which for some reason doesn't really want to be working okay and maybe I could have done something such as this, see? Now, it's almost there, so what we need to do is just add a little bit more uh, edges here. So I'm gonna add one edge here, and I wanna have a look if this appears from the other side, which is not, so I'm gonna add another one from the other side of that edge <coughs> and I'm gonna add one edge here and one edge here that way and this way alright <coughs> now I'm gonna add one more edge here One more edge here, one more edge here, and one more edge here, one edge here, and we need one edge here that way, okay? So for every, every uh, you know, area like that, that we have a line, we need two supporting edges in order to make it sharp when we will use the smooth preview and this is just what I'm doing okay like so oops that way and that's good press F8 let's press 3 and see how it goes well I do need two more here on top of that I think I need to fix this something here is just wrong <laughs> let's bring those a little bit more of like 
that and bring those down. Okay, maybe it should be lying that way, I'm not sure. Um, but that's not really something that we need to be that concerned about as long that it's covered. I'm gonna add one here, one here, as well as here and there. Okay, so that's good. I think that that's pretty much it. Now, I do suggest that if you want to add those, like, uh, you know, dividing points, you can eliminate probably, like, doing something like adding two more edges here. I will just give you an example, and you will choose what to do. So let's... I created those two right now, right? And this face here in the middle is pretty safe to be extruded, so I can double-click on it. Um, and I can do something such as extruding it, switch to scale tool okay and I will take a look from here and simply extrude it inwards that way a little bit like so so you see what happens it's just curved inside now I don't want to do this with those faces and for some reason you can see what's going on in here so you really want to make sure that you are very very careful with this I mean not everything should be like that I mean I just looped selected everything but there are points here like that you probably want to add this but this is also something that can be added as for a normal map or something such as this so it's not a must to do this because this is really uh will ruin your shape here now anyway let's continue i want to have one more thing here uh, i want to create a cube and this cube, I want to bring it over here. I'm going to scale this up so we can see this thing. And I'm going to bring this, uh, well, underneath this arm, actually. It should be here. Okay. And I'm going to right-click, choose vertices. I'm going to grab this and pull this to this area where this link connection is. Okay. Now you probably say to yourself, so what the hell, why, why we did all this work if we're going to cover the most neat parts from this model? <laughs> so, uh, uh, well, I'll leave it for you to think about that anyway. Um, we just don't want the players, you know, to be hit, get hit by this metal. So it should be somewhat like so. And I'm going to... Grab those two vertices, those two vertices. I'm gonna scale them just like so. I'm gonna right click, well, sorry, right click, no, F8 first, object mode. Control right click, edge ring utilities to edge ring and split. Edit mesh, and where are you? Where is, sorry, mesh tools? I'm used to Maya 2014. Uh, gonna add those two here okay and you can do this thinner I guess but really it's up to you this is just how I see this and I think that it should be a little bit more thick so because people usually jump in this area and you don't want them to get hit by this fancy metal here Right click, choose vertices. I'm gonna grab all those vertices and bring them just a little bit downwards. I need to make sure that they are. This is the length. I don't think that this is the length. So again, well, it should be where somewhere where this is. So I'm gonna pull them over here and put this here. That way. One more tiny look. Well, we need to shape this. So I'm gonna press F8, shift right click, insert edge loop here. And yeah, that's that's pretty much it. I think I'm gonna just take a look, another one more look at this. Uh, doesn't tell me much. I'll scroll down here. 
have a look at this. Yeah, there is nothing really need to be done here. I mean, there are probably some kind of uh, strips that hold this thing into place, but more than that, it's just nonsense and just a little much more geometry that are needed. So all I will do is grab this, make it like so, bring these. I want to make sure those are at place, not overlapping, but as well as Yeah, something like that. Let's bring this that way. And let's bring those here. Sorry, those. To about so. And pull this maybe just a little bit more. Okay, I'm gonna add. I'm gonna. Right click choose vertices, maybe again, scale tool, let's make sure it's like so, not more than what it should be, just like that. I'm gonna open, uh, apply the x-ray, because I want to see those here now, and shrink them to this thickness. Like so, here at this area, you don't really have a choice. Um, there is this link connection that should be, that we should be aware of. So I'm gonna add another edge loop here, just to somewhat, uh, I don't know, be able to control this. So those vertices here. And like so, <coughs> yeah, that's that's about it. So you can add strips there. Um, you know, something that uh, hold this thing all together. So I think I should have add a little bit more. Let me see. I'm gonna try and refine this a little bit more. Like so. These are overlapping, so we're gonna add one more edge loop here, this area, and I'm gonna grab those vertices and pull them so like that. Okay. Um, now because I added those, it's safe for me to get closer with these and with the others as well. Let's apply the x ray. Still just a little bit too far from the frame, and yeah, let's turn off the x ray. I'm gonna add a few edge loops. And this will be it. So insert the edge loop here, there. I'm going to add one more here. One here, one there. I'm going to add edge loop that way and that way. And here, and there. Now, here, you need to add one, and there. And here, we need to add th two. So one here, and one here, and basically at the other side as well. And one here, okay? So that's done. Let's press three. Whoa, that was four, six, three. And yeah, this way I can tell if I won't even bring this a little bit more closer, but I think that that's already good. Though 
you see here this area where we have those two and two? We need three, so we need another one here and one here. And press three, and then it's all good. So it's flat there now. All right. Let's have a look one more time. It's this one. If I didn't miss anything. Yeah, I missed here something, but it's not that bad, though I will add it. I'm gonna add two more edge loops in this area, you see? Should be three here. When edges like that are between other edges, and you see here two, this is okay, because the third one is actually the one that comes from here. But when you have, like, these area, those edges that are like, I don't know, like some kind of a maneuver point where this shape goes like that. So this has to be three edges, okay? But they are all still three edges, just different configurations. So I'm going to press F8. I'm going to save this file. And wish you a very nice day. I'm going to continue this, but uh, I mean the overall scene, I still need to um, add, you know, maybe just a little bit texturing and stuff like that, lightning. I ain't gonna do this really, you know, I'm always keeping those things because I'm really aiming that fascinating with this, but, you know, just to give you just maybe a little bit proper answer on how to set up just a little bit light and stuff like that. Anyway, thank you for watching, and I probably will create something, like a video where I will talk a little bit about what I think at the overall of this. It really depends, and um, I, I, I will see about this. Anyway, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial, and see you at the next part.